The Sonic movie sequel has a name and a logo, and apparently an actor received an offer for the role of Knuckles the Echidna in that film. And we also have some details to share with you about Sonic's involvement in South by Southwest this year. This is Tails Channel News. Let's get started. A number of posters for Sonic's 30th anniversary were leaked online. It showcased a diverse slate of key art from Sonic's official style guide. The posters are sporting a new tagline for the anniversary, titled Unstoppable for Generations. The posters were initially found on a rather interesting eBay page, with some people assuming it was fake. But to everyone's surprise, it was actually real. A user tipped us off to the database of one of Sega's official licensors. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the sequel to the successful film that released last year, has been confirmed as the name for the movie in a teaser trailer. The film's logo obviously contains a reference to the fact that Tails is gonna appear in this film, along with a fantastic remix of Emerald Hill Zone. Meanwhile, director Jeff Fowler acknowledged the new teaser with excitement. He was recently seen in Hawaii and published a tweet from Vancouver signaling that the time for news is nearing. Keep in mind though, filming is not set to begin until the 15th of March. And we're gonna keep you updated on all production details just like that here on Tails Channel. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you don't already have them enabled, make sure notifications are enabled. Also, Related to the Sonic movie, we have learned that Jason Momoa has been offered a role to voice Knuckles in the upcoming Sonic movie sequel. As of this recording, Jason has not accepted the offer in any way, but if he accepts it, he could be our main man Knuckles. So let me get this straight. He do a dress like a bat, like, a, like an actual bat. It's not like you coming here digging into my business, getting into my life. People from Atlanta tell me to do this, now you say do that. I want to be left alone. I help him because no one else does. Should he accept it, it would be uncharted territory for the movie star, who is known for his appearance in Aquaman and Game of Thrones. As for Tails, who is definitely in the sequel, currently we have no idea who's voicing that character. So you'll have to stay tuned on that one. While there's voice actor cast changes going around at Sega, Ben Schwartz, the voice of Sonic in the movie, clarified that he has not been contacted about succeeding Roger Craig Smith as the voice of Sonic in the games. I haven't thought about it. I haven't really thought about it. Um, the first time that's ever come up was because uh, Roger, Roger seems to be stepping away. And nobody's asked me, between you and I, I haven't really answered this question yet, but nobody's come up to me and said anything. So my assumption is that who knows? He also acknowledged the legacy of previous Sonic voice actors and thanked the Sonic community for their ongoing support. It has been speculated for quite a while now whether or whether or not Sonic is going to be involved in South by Southwest this year. After all, the panels are quite popular in the gaming expo, and some fans assumed that Sega could take advantage of this year's online hosted format for the conferences. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Event officials have confirmed with Tails Channel that the gaming expo will not return in an in-person or online format at all this year. They also clarified for us that the online festival in question will not have a gaming expo portion at all and will only focus on their main conferences and festivals. In case it wasn't already obvious, Sega only deals with the gaming expo portion of South by Southwest, effectively meaning that Sega will have no involvement with South by Southwest this year. But what about Sonic's big 30th anniversary? Are there going to be no announcements? Well, that's what I thought when I heard this news, but from what we know here at Tails Channel, as it stands, it's expected that Sega will be making these announcements in question independently or using another third party. In case you missed it, here's a recap of all the voice actor changes we know right now. Cindy Robinson, the voice of Amy Rose in the games, has seemingly hinted that she is not going to be voicing the character anymore. She made the surprise announcements on Twitter and confirmed suspicions that she will not reprise her role. On the flip side, Mike Pollock announced that he is going to continue voicing Dr. Eggman in the games. 
His status in the upcoming Sonic Prime animation is yet to be known. Mike Pollock has been voicing Eggman since 2005. Well, it appears that Sonic has done it once again. He has sold more than 3 million units this quarter. Repeat sales of Generations, Team Sonic Racing, and Mania were cited for this continued growth, even though Sega Sammy is still having trouble trying to recover from amusement center losses. Meanwhile, the Sonic Mania LEGO project has been greenlit for production, and the Sonic movie has been nominated for the Best Animated Performance at the Hollywood Critics Association Awards, as well as the Favorite Movie and Actor in the Kids' Choice Awards. Our friends at IDW Sonic News also have preview pages for issue 37. We'll have links in the description below and stay connected on our social media for more Sonic News.